YouTube channel. It's a bit of an early start, hence the eye masks, but the hair is in rollers. My gym kit is actually on, and we are heading up to London for a very, very exciting day. So I'll be leaving in about, I would say about 15 minutes. The girls are hopefully just about to arrive. It is currently 5.38 in the morning and I'm very, very excited to be co-hosting a health and wellness breakfast with my wardrobe HQ and the other house just to celebrate the start of London Fashion Week. We're also having a little bit of a fashion showcase at the other house. We're going to be having a gorgeous breakfast. We'll be doing a wellness and breathing class, which I'm really, really excited about. It's definitely something that I am focusing more on. You guys know I adore health and wellness, but breathing techniques is something that I find really, really difficult and something that I most certainly need to be better at. And then we're actually heading over to One Warwick to a fashion showcase. There's going to be lots of different designers. We're going to be meeting the designers themselves and looking at their incredible collections. Now, talking of incredible, <laughs> I have some incredible friends and they are all coming to join me and support this morning, which honestly, I'm just so grateful. It is an early one because London Fashion Week is just packed. I cannot even begin to tell you these fashion shows are back to back to back. And I really wanted to have something in the diary that was just going to set us all up, make us feel better, look better, and just be prepared for London Fashion Week and just be as prepared for London Fashion Week as we possibly can. So honestly, my nearest and dearest gorgeous besties will be meeting me at the other house at 8 a.m. this morning for a gorgeous, glamorous breakfast. I definitely do not look <laughs> any of those things right now. This is definitely not a gorgeous or glamorous look, but in all honesty, I actually would not go to any event without my one-on-one -on -one skin masks. Now, normally what I would do is I'd actually have the full face mask on, but I did that last night. And um, I just wanted to just give my eyes just that little bit more of a blast to make sure they are de-puffed and they are glowing. So I've obviously still got to pop on a touch of makeup. I think I'm going to do my base at home and then I will just finish it off once I get to London. Um, we're going to be leaving at about 10 to 6 um, because I need to be there at 7 just to make sure that everything is organised, everything is set up, just sort of put my final touch to it all, meet the team, have a full event run through. Um, I think you guys have met Sasha before who is the founder of My Wardrobe HQ. She is honestly the most incredible woman. I mean, one of my biggest inspirations. She is so entrepreneurial. She's just absolutely remarkable. And if there's somebody in this industry who could not have been more supportive of me and just sort of like scream my name in a room full of opportunities, it would be her. And so I am so, so excited to be co-hosting with Sasha today. Oh gosh, I feel as though I haven't actually introduced my wardrobe HQ because I talk about it so much. But for those of you who don't know about my wardrobe HQ, they are the most incredible platform to rent luxury luxury fashion through, either rent or buy second hand. And the items and the collection that they have is absolutely remarkable. Nothing is too special. I'm talking custom, haute couture, Oscar de la Renta. I mean, literally the biggest brands you can possibly get all the way to super, super affordable brands. Um, but they all have one thing in common. They are all absolutely exquisite. So they will be having a rail there that we can have a little mooch through. I think actually some of the girls today will be dressed by my wardrobe at HQ, which is really exciting. They're also dressing lots of my girlfriends for London Fashion this week. They're also dressing me for an honor 
event at the end of the month. Of course, that's not gonna be on this vlog, but I will most certainly be taking you with me. Sasha has told me about the dress. It is like ridiculous. So I'm actually seeing it for the first time today, just to sort of like, I don't know, get my beauty eyes on it and see whether it's something that I could actually physically get into. I'm not sure I can pull it off. Um, I think the last person who wore it might have been Kendall Jenner. Mm -hmm. So it gives you, it gives you a small idea as to um, how small I need to be and how just epic it's going to be. Anyway, I'm wobbling on. It's been six minutes. Oh my giddy aunt. I need to get as much black coffee into me as humanly possible this morning and it is going to be the most gorgeous day. You are going to be seeing all of your favourite people today. <laughs> all of my favourite people minus a few of my absolute favourites because um, sadly they couldn't make it into London this early which I totally understand. So as I said it's going to be mega but it also doesn't end in London. <laughs> It would not be a Leonora vlog if we weren't here, there, and absolutely everywhere on a time limit. So I've got this big event in London today that I'm co-hosting, and then I've got to dash back because Marcus has organised a surprise dinner. That's all I know. I know the dress code and I know the time that we're leaving, so of course I have got to take you. I have a feeling it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. My mother keeps texting me saying, <laughs> make sure you're back in time, Leonora. And she keeps asking me what I'm wearing. So I have a feeling it's going to be extremely special. And of course, I will be taking you with me. So I'm gonna have a few more slurps on my coffee. And then we're gonna be getting in the car with my dream team for the absolute dream day. So, you know by now. Let's do this. Well, half the team are here. Yes. <laughs> At least half of us are here. Anna is running slightly behind schedule. It's 5.45, how are you feeling? Um, a little, a little dreary-eyed, but I'm sure we'll wake up in the, on the drive exactly, there. Exactly, exactly. Oh my goodness me. Well, my eye masks are still on. I'm gonna do my makeup once we get there, I think. Um, yeah, park up and then get the makeup on. It's just slightly too early. I mean, I thought my my alarm clock this morning was too early. <gasps> Ellen got up at 3.45. <laughs> Unbelievable. Couldn't be late. So, I mean, honestly, can you hear the dogs? I'm going to have to go and tell my dogs off. They're currently screaming. Anyway, we're going to jump in the car and we're going to be heading to London. So, I will see you. Well, we will see you yes. once we get there. How are we feeling, team? A little bit blurry. Oh, 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 oh the eyes. <laughs> I promise I won't ever do an event this early again. It's all good. It's all good. How are we doing in the back? Good, there? thank you. Oh, gosh. Well, I'm very grateful to have the best team. <laughs> and we're going to have the best day. Oh, well, we're going to turn on some very gorgeous music. We've got hot bottoms. Mm. We've got hot coffee. Oh, and we're going to have a fab day. So, let's go. arrived in London. Ladies, I know I always talk about it. How epic is the parking? So good. Right outside. <laughs> Literally. So good. I, I think I'm this is just now this is just now someone is looking down on me. Literally the other house is like that's the flag right there. And guess what? There's one parking spot for like paid parking. It's not residents. And we got it. Well it is actually um you know 
<laughs> it's early. It's 7 a.m. Um, anyway, makeup is done and I'm just taking my hair out of the rollers. We're going to get everything and then we're going to head on inside, have a little mooch, make sure everything's ready, um, have a briefing with the team, uh, get ourselves organized, and then the girls will be arriving. We've all woken up a bit since the last mm. time we spoke to you. Yes, <laughs> can just... confirm. <laughs> can confirm. Um, so anyway, it's going to be a fab day. Get the rollers out, going to trot across the road and just have the best time. I'm so excited, <laughs> so excited. Anyway, yeah, I'm definitely not walking in like this. So hair's coming out and I will see you once we get inside. Oh, it is so lovely to be up in London at this time in the morning. It is so quiet and you're just sort of seeing the city wake up which is just gorgeous so heading down to the other house which is in South Kensington so all of these incredible buildings the architecture and the detail of the cornicing is just absolutely magnificent <gasps> let's head inside oh gosh I love a posh pooch with a gorgeous glittery collar so cute so we have literally just arrived at the other house and quickly before I head in, I just actually thought whilst it's still beautifully tidy, I would give you guys a very quick room tour. So with the other house, they are actually a membership club. It's not a hotel. It's almost like working as rooms or apartments that you can stay here for a considerable amount of time. But obviously you've got all of the amenities that a hotel would normally have. You've got a membership club, you've got an incredible restaurant, they've got a spa, it's just absolutely beautiful. And look at this room. So this is actually one of their basement rooms. So you've got like a lovely little living space. I love the wallpaper, it's just absolutely gorgeous. And then we've got a little like downstairs bathroom in here. And look at this marble, it is absolutely beautiful. So you've got lovely bath, loo, shower, all of that sort of jazz in here. So this is actually one of the family apartments. Here is Anna, <laughs> again. <laughs> We've got like a little bit of a kitchenette, so if you wanted to have like coffee, tea, really you can do it as a staycation. So actually, I think it's just incredible that you can book the other house, stay here, and you've got everything you could possibly need. You've got fridges, you've got ovens, microwaves, the whole shebang, so you can be completely self-sufficient in here and not actually have to live like you would in a hotel. So you've got TV, you've got living room. Now this is so cool. So we're actually in one of the basement um, rooms, which if you look here, in the original uh, cellars, they have put the little children's room, which is just the sweetest thing. I think I would have had so much fun in here as a child. How sweet is that? It's like a little cubby hole for a double bed so cozy and just absolutely beautiful i love how they've used the original design of the building to incorporate the bedrooms and then in here is the main bedroom so this is where um me and my team are going to be getting ready for the showcase later on so so cool um so yeah that is the bed we've got the master bathroom so this is gorgeous oh wow look at that shower it is absolutely incredible. So that is the room tour. Thought I would give it to you very, very quickly before we jump in for a very, very busy day. So let's go meet the team. Let's go and see Sasha and get started with what is going to be a incredible setup and this is the incredible Sasha <laughs> I love it and this is where we will be doing the breath work this morning it's all these gorgeous chairs we've got blankets underneath the most beautiful trees look at this look at this for a setup absolutely incredible some of the girls have arrived and uh, <laughs> these girls are admiring the breakfast 
<laughs> look at this. So we've got coconut yogurt with berry compote and granola. <gasps> look at those edible flowers. I absolutely think they look stunning. Then we've got some fruits. Ooh, salmon blinis. Mm, scrum didiocious. I could definitely murder a green smoothie. Now, girls, do we think it's going to be as green as my green juice? I think it might be slightly sweeter. sweeter. Then yeah. Slightly green sweeter. <laughs> <laughs> I think Alan might like this one. And then, oh, wow, look at this. This looks very fancy. Mm, my goodness me, I think that's like a coffee machine. Oh, it is. Oh, you could literally, hang on a moment. This looks very cool. Fresh apple juice and orange juice, lots of water. Us in the mirror, team. I'm just waiting for the girlies to arrive and then we will begin. Got a gorgeous rail over here of a few pieces from my wardrobe HQ. Look at this. Absolutely stunning. <gasps> I mean, look at this. Absolutely incredible. and very professional as usual um, so thank you thank you so much for coming because I know it was a very early start for a lot of you I think particularly Ellen who was 3.45 this morning Woo! <laughs> well, um, so just to give you the order of the day um, we're going to start with Christina who will do some breath work then Alex is going to do the aromatherapy session um, and then I'll do a very brief speech about what we do at my wardrobe and some information about sustainability and fashion. I promise you it won't be boring. <laughs> and, um, and then breakfast is actually there, so if you want to graze throughout, absolutely do that. Otherwise, have some food afterwards. Um, and then we've got items that people have pre-booked for Fashion Week, so if you, you can take those and, and put them on ne next door in the, in the rooms that I think you've been shown already. Um, or get changed and then we'll head over to One Warwick to, to the Emerging Designer Showcase. So it's a packed morning. So the goal for today is basically to activate our parasympathetic nervous system. We want to get you in your rest and digest. We want to teach our bodies essentially how to breathe in this natural state so that we're constantly in this rest and digest and not in our fight or flight. Sure, something doesn't fit, the zip's gone, and you need help, then 
uh, Ben, Sam, um, occasionally Georgie, who's also in the back, who does our PR, will be in there and very happy to help. We're going to talk about influence today, which is something that is probably fairly familiar to most of you in the room. But we're back in the day, pre, pre social media, so before Instagram, um, I used to have a job which I thought didn't have any influence at all, it was a real nine to five. Um, I was kind of a minnow in, a, in quite a big company. And then one day we decided to run a campaign uh, to support the government initiative to charge for plastic bags, single use plastic bags. And within a year, plastic bag usage went from 10 billion bags a year to under 1 billion. That's still a lot of bags in supermarkets, but that was all thanks to the campaign that we did. There was no fallout from um, you know, people going and rioting in supermarkets because they could no longer have a free bag. And we, we'd run a campaign to, to win the hearts and minds of the public to get them to accept that actually if I go to the supermarket without a plastic bag, it's my fault I have to pay 10 pence, which I think is the mindset that most people have now. So this then brings us on to fashion. Fashion is the next really big challenge. Um, the statistics on the fashion market is pretty horrendous. It's the second most damaging of all of the industries in the world. Um, and the problem is the constant newness and the speed at which brands are bringing new product to market. Um, and so we, in the same way as we kind of approach the plastic bags, we were looking for a solution as to how can we um, improve, you know, how can, we, how can we keep fashion sustainable in the real sense of the word, which means it needs to work for brands. They still need to be able to run a sustainable business, but how can they do it in a more environmentally friendly way? And this is how we landed on rental that you see on my wardrobe. Separately to that, we do actually have a, a sort of B2B service where brands can run their own rentals. So we work with Garam Jewelers, for example. If anyone wants to rent a £60,000 tiara for a wedding or anything like that, we, we work with them, and that's actually absolutely possible to, to do. We also work with brands like Anya Highmarsh, Perfect, Perfect Moment, so that you can rent ski wear rather than, than, than buy it and um, yeah, having to commit to things. It works for the customer because it reduces the price of things, it works for the brand because they yield a lot more money per item than they would just selling it because the, 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 the audience for rental is so vast. Well, this is a really lovely brand, the Cashmere Coats. They start in a kind of pale cream and every single one of them is dyed to order for the colour. The first manufacturer to be using all environmentally sound processes, so even the water that they use to create the crystals, which actually is quite intensive, needs quite a lot of water, that's all rainwater. And she's gone on a real drive to help the Chinese manufacturing industry sort of understand how to do things in a more sustainable way. This is a beautiful brand called La Metamorphose, which is a Parisian brand. Um, this is their runway sample. So we have a lot of stock from them, which is literally the one-off pieces that were couture that were made for the runway and now are available to rent on my wardrobe. So if anybody has an event, any events, please do come into Harrods. And actually that particular dress, the way it looks when you walk, I've actually tried that dress on. Yeah, because it's all it's split. It's magnificent. It's yeah. split. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. yeah, and it's the most fantastic silk. So, yes, um, thank you, Leonor. You've been an incredibly um, great ambassador for the business, you know, really from the very beginning. So, And it's so exciting to see everything that you're doing and watching you grow and flourish. It's fantastic. I know, I want to ask you, how did you find the breathing? It's really, really good. You know, and my mind is always going 100 miles an hour, so to like actually stop for a moment. And, you know, it was really helpful with the guided breathing because I think if it wasn't guided, my mind would be here, there, and everywhere. And actually, the tapping, I tell you, this one is instant. This definitely relaxes me. This, I don't know. This one, I think I need to practice more. But overall, do you think it will bring you back to the affirmation? I think so, yeah. Yeah. I've got this. You've got this. Got I like this. that one. I love that one. And I belong. Yeah. Face test. So quickly got ready and I'm ready for the fashion showcase. I've gone very classic today. So starting off with a crisp white shirt. This is the classic white shirt from Holland Cooper. And then the piece that I feel like everybody needs in their wardrobe is a classic double-breasted navy blazer. Adore the details on this one. It's sort of like real vintage, old school, double-breasted, beautiful gold buttons and the fit is tailored to perfection. 
collection. I've then got a vintage Pamela Picasso belt, which I love. And then these are my high-waisted Goelia white denim trousers. Obsessed with them. And then of course, oh my goodness, ah, oh, there we go. I've styled it up with a navy Manolo and then I've got my Miss Dior navy bag and then a Maximara navy overcoat. So very fresh, crisp, white details and then to finish it off with that classic touch I've gone with the navy blazer and the navy accessories. So let's head over to One Warwick for the most incredible London Fashion Week showcase. VIP cards. Membership you, cards. So it, it starts off, it'll give you 20% VIP discount at Harrods, but there will be other things coming up with Bamford, Annabelle, so on and so forth. So, and can I ask, yes. what does it say on the card? Um, it says, actually, almost. Yeah! It was perfect for you. <laughs> this is so on brand. Yeah, that's it. At a distance, I didn't think it said the because of the L. Yeah! So gorgeous, love it. <laughs> Um, and then you have got your aromatherapy, Alex, Aww. specially brewed aroma. She uses all the best essential oils and it was lovely actually, wasn't it? Yeah. Absolutely yeah. divine. And, um, and I think you've got your yes, a water bottle. I absolutely so, love anyway, it. That's all your bits. So should I just hand? Thank you. And if ever of you guys know I love hosting and entertaining, uh, Sasha and um, my wardrobe HQ are starting to do tableware. So that will be coming really, really soon. So you can rent it, which is so exciting. So we have just arrived here at the one Warwick and we've come into one of their private, I would say like dining lounge areas. It's got its own bar. So we will do a little bit of a show around and there's some incredible designers here, all sustainable fashion, either secondhand or luxury rentals, anything like that. Beautiful jewelry, bags, statement dresses, sequins. We've got some mob wife <laughs> jackets, literally everything. And it's all luxury absolutely beautiful but for literally like a tenth of the price now one thing i love about my wardrobe hq is that first of all you can rent it and fall in love with it and should you fall in love with it you can also buy it and of course then you're buying a luxury item that would have been thousands and thousands of pounds and because you're buying it second hand it is obviously a tenth of the price and you're keeping it literally within it's sort of circular fashion as they say it's the most sustainable way to buy and you're buying pieces that will last a lifetime and um, you're saving money at the same time so it's a win-win but I've got my eyes on some beautiful pieces so let's go and take a look around
with flowers. And they're the most beautiful thing that you've ever seen. We were like doing lots of content yesterday, like eating them. Of course, gosh, that's amazing. They can come today, but how beautiful are they? Oh my god, that is absolutely incredible. I am swooning over the most stunning jewelry. Look at this necklace. It is absolutely beautiful. I feel like Monica is going to have an absolute field day with the statement gold jewelry. And then we've got a few Laliki Beaumont pieces. This dark green with the crocodile like leather is absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh, they're absolutely stunning. I love a pink moment. This is absolutely beautiful. Well, I, I bet you never thought that you would see uh, Alex and I. Are you part of the mafia? <laughs> I'm mean, in our fam. Do you know what I'd call yeah, it? So my grandmother had a coat like that and she called it a slutty rabbit. A slutty rabbit! And so she had every, so if ever she had an occasion where she needed to, you know, a little bit slutty, she calls it her slutty rabbit. And I still have it. Do you ever get the slutty rabbit out? Well, for, for, for sort of like a themed party. Yeah. Sort of thing, like, um, dress up parties, but I'll tell you what, these are fabulous. They're so soft. I think they're so soft. I would go around like stroking myself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> perfect. Is that, is that mogwai? Is that mogwai? I think the front. Yeah. Okay. I think you've got to go brown with brown. Or you're not going to go. I mean, she's the fashionista. I, I think she would go with a bit of colour. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, maybe I'll go. I'm go. I'll go all out. You're go, I mean, oh, right. I mean, I think the crop pattern is very mod Yeah, it's very mod white. Yeah. Okay. Definitely the crop. Where were the black, the black sunglasses, ladies? Oh, May I borrow your black yeah. sunglasses? Yeah. And we're gonna like finish the look off to perfection. Yeah, I think that's okay. Okay. The I love it. Yeah. Okay. This is the one. Very much the Okay. We're ready for this. <laughs> What a mega morning we have had. Honestly, I can't, like, my face is hurting from having all my favorite people <laughs> in the same place at the same time. And uh, I just feel very honored to have you girlies with me. But as I said, today is not ending here. We are actually in a black cab, as you can see. I've got Ellen there, I've got Anna, we've got Mon, and we've got Alex. And we are heading to a very gorgeous lunch destination to continue the celebrations. Ladies, what day is it and what do we do on a Friday? Oh, oh, Shake it since it's, it's Friday! Friday. <laughs> so we are continuing these celebrations by heading for a gorgeous girly lunch and then I've got to jump in the car head home because I've got my very special surprise date this evening. Um, I have an inkling what it might be um, and if it is that then we've got to change things up with the outfit. That's all I'm saying. We need to we need to go all out ladies. Sexy, sexy up. We got a sexy it up. No, I'm definitely changing from this. All right. Hello, do you know me? I'm even thinking about rewashing and blow drying the hair at this rate. I mean, this is a bit of a limp squid, if I'm honest. Um, anywho, like I said, it's going to continue. So I will see you once we get to the restaurant. I'm so excited. If you didn't know already, and if you are not a subscriber, then you won't know. I am
My cheers, girl. We're coming to you. Cheers. Home sweet home and have actually been for a couple of hours and really rather a bit of a quick turnaround. I have rewashed and re blow dried my hair. I feel like that is dedication and I have got a full face of makeup on of which I'm actually just finishing off and then I'll be popping on my outfit of which I've finally chosen what to wear. And then I will be heading out for dinner for a very, very special, sort of belated Valentine's dinner. Mark and I were both busy and obviously it was midweek uh, Valentine's. And so we decided oh, to do something special on Friday, which is today, of course. I have got to admit, and I will only admit to you guys, I am tired, I am really tired. And I actually think I had a bit too much coffee today. It got to about one o'clock and I was having horrendous heart palpitations and my hands were really, really shaking. So um, that was a little bit silly of me, I must admit. Anywho, the show must go on, as they say. And I actually can't find the back to my earring. It's annoying. I'm gonna have to go and steal another back. Anyways, as I said, I've just done a full face of makeup, rewashed and blow dried my hair to ensure that it is looking beautiful. I actually washed my hair yesterday and Dysoned it this morning. And as you saw, my curls literally <laughs> gone, vanished. I've just finished off my look to perfection with one of my new um, hourglass lip glosses. This is the Color Impulse. And this is the incredible gloss. They very, very kindly sent it to me. And I'm absolutely obsessed with this gloss. It comes in a few different colors. I have Mist, Lust, and Impulse. And it's a beautiful, like, rich, berry, burgundy, glossy look. And it will give you a slight hint as to what I'm wearing. I actually really recently showed you this outfit and I'm so in love with it and I think it is perfect for tonight. I have a small inkling and if my inkling is right then we are going somewhere very 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 special. Um, and Mark has actually asked if I can not take my camera which is so hard because I love bringing you along with me. I'm gonna beg him and just film some really small little snippets just so that you guys can come along and you can see it and feel it and kind of live it with us without it being too much for him and in some ways a little bit too much for me, you know. I think something I really have got to do is um, make time and more time for him with the out cameras and phones and technology and work, actually just have one-to-one -one me and him time. But I think tonight's gonna be so special and I know you absolutely love coming to these things. So leave it with me, fingers crossed. But anyway. I need to get this off and that on. So let's head into the bedroom and I will show you my final look for an extremely special belated Valentine's date night with Mark. I appreciate it is rather dark in here, but this is the incredible Goelia dress that I showed you. I think on a couple of vlogs ago, I did a big try on and this is just something else. I think it's so classic and timeless. I adore this dark, rich burgundy and think that impulse Mm, hourglass gloss just matches to perfection. You've got that slight hint of sparkle that is just threaded throughout the most beautiful tweed. 
stunning and I mean beautiful really really classy and very quiet luxury buttons and then I've done up the belt and it does actually come with like a little belt bag however I've taken that off and used the chain to cinch in the waist I've got a little bit of my grandmother with me which is that burgundy Chanel bag and I think the chain honestly does this chain not look Chanel well I feel like this whole outfit looks Chanel and I've got a pair of black tights on and I couldn't not rock the Manolos. We're going sparkly throughout. Obviously the hair is coming out of the rollers, um, but I think I'm gonna do that in the car just to ensure my curls hold for this evening. But this is tonight's look. Marcus said elegant and smart, but not ridiculous. I think we've hit that dress code, wouldn't you say? Anyway, I am <laughs> somewhat tired after my 4.45 start. Definitely not as bad as Ellen, so I should not be complaining. And I'm so excited about tonight. I think it's going to be absolutely amazing. And what a day we're having. What a day. I feel like tomorrow I'm going to need to process the entire day. I feel like it's all happening too fast. It's all a bit of a whirlwind. Um, but they always say that incredible things happen all at the same time. So let's head downstairs. We're gonna have a little glass of champagne just to pack me up a little bit and set me up for the most fabulous evening filled with so much love. Now in my eyes, no outfit is finished without a spritz of something scrumptious. So, what are we thinking? Do, 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 do. I think something classic, but something fresh. I feel like perfume is just such a special thing, and I also think that you can really, really layer it up. And I feel like there is a perfume for every occasion. I want to feel pretty tonight. I tell you what, this is actually one of my absolute favorites. This is Elixir from Roger Dove, and it is absolutely beautiful. Honestly, first of all, the bottle, <gasps> stunning. It's also a great British, oh, great British brand in the hair, mm, under the armpits. A little bit of spritz down there for luck. <laughs> And it is fresh, it's floral, it's sweet without being sickly, beautiful essence of like rose, jasmine, plums, cherries with an undernote of kind of like amber and slight hints of tobacco. So I think it's perfect. I think it's perfect. It is the scent of love. Anyway, I now smell fabulous. I feel fabulous and I'm ready for a gorgeous. You won't believe it. I'm actually dressed early. Oh, I need a round of applause. So I am downstairs before his lordship. So I'm just actually admiring the dress and also the beautiful blue mascara that Steve has very kindly planted up in all of the planters. How beautiful does that look? With the Holland Cooper diffuser, the beautiful lamps, the incredible mirror. Oh, it looks absolutely stunning as well as this beautiful I cannot wait for tonight. As I said, I'm gonna take the hair out of the rollers in the car and then I feel like it's just going to like finish the look. So let's skedaddle the husband along and head to dinner. Things are looking up. Things are looking, things are looking very nice. Hi, John. You look very dapper for a Friday night. Oh goodness gracious me. Oh, well, thank you very much. Very handsome driver for this evening.
powdered my makeup and popped a touch more lip gloss on. It is absolutely beautiful in here. From the mirror to the beautiful little dressing table, all of the amenities that they have. One thing I didn't put on this evening was hairspray. And of course, they have it in the bathrooms. It is absolutely beautiful in here. So, so gorgeous. Thank you so much. That looks delicious. Scrumptious. Thank you very much. So beautiful, good board. Thank you. So kind. So kind. Happy Friday. <laughs> So Mark went for the beer and mashed potato bread. I'm so intrigued. And I went with the raisin and fig. Absolutely delicious. And also I just want to say a big shout out to my husband for allowing me <laughs> to bring you guys with us. Do you want to wish them a happy Valentine? Happy Valentine's. <laughs> We're sharing a happy belated Valentine's. <gasps> Fig and raisin has got to be my absolute favorite combination, but in a bread, I think it's so interesting. And the whole concept here is from farm to plate. And I will talk a little bit about it later, or maybe even tomorrow morning, I'll give you guys the full lowdown. But for now, I'm going to be digging into this delicious <laughs> loaf of bread. Smoked chestnut parfait. Thank you so with much. Hot top egg yolk, finish the churro wine voluta and black truffles. On the side we have a puff pastry milk with black truffles and powder. Thank you so much. Softer, it's a little bit riper. There is a beautiful hint of nectarine and peach Yum. as well, and a very uh, characteristic grassy note. I know I'm not sure whether you said yum or yum. Yum, yum. yum. <laughs> it's both. <laughs> now this is a 2021 vintage. Amazing, thank you. But you can actually see a slightly greenish hue to it. And the uh, nice and subtle, especially at the finish, a uh, note of white pepper, it ties very well with the spices. Divine, thank you. Anyway. Well, I can't very quite a bit of cheese, so what sort yeah. of cheese do you enjoy? Um, 
Okay. So we have the five main families of cheese. We have the hard, the strong, the front, the soft, the goat, and the blue. If you wanted a nice variety, I'd suggest maybe one from each family. Home, sweet home and what oh hello do you want to come and say hello to everybody <laughs> oh you want to come and say hello as well oh my goodness me <laughs> I was coming to say hello and you ended up with two dashing dachshunds <laughs> anyway I just wanted to come on and just in some ways give you guys a little bit of a debrief about last night what, I mean, what an experience. I think my taste buds were genuinely exploding with the flavor and the intricacy of each dish. It was absolutely phenomenal. The place, the grounds, Le Manoir themselves, the experience, the service, the story, and obviously Raymond Blanc himself. To give you guys a little bit of history about Le Manoir, it opened <laughs> in 1984 and within their first year they received two Michelin stars and have retained them ever since. Now that is quite a story. The place itself has got to be one of England's most beautiful old manor houses and the exquisite gardens. They are absolutely pruned and primped to perfection. Honestly, I've never seen gardens like it. I truly want to go back in daylight. And actually, it's one of Mark and my wedding gifts is actually a cooking course at Le Manoir. So we are most certainly going to get that booked ASAP. And it was just honestly a night to remember and I feel like a, one of the biggest questions is going to be was it expensive and in all honesty yes it was expensive but when you think about the value of money to the experience and the knowledge and professionalism the food the Michelin star the service and the place 1000% worth it. Obviously it is a very very special occasion place. Book it for an anniversary, book it for a very very special birthday and trust me it will not disappoint. It is absolutely outstanding on every single level. I truly felt that from the second we arrived at Le Manoir the gardens are literally the heart and soul of the entire place. And it really brings you back to the core values of what Le Manoir Quetzaison is all about. And that is sustainability, foraging, zero waste, everything being sourced locally. And the majority of last night's menu was all sourced directly from the estate. And of course, with Raymond being just the most incredible patron when it comes to sustainability and also seasonality, the menu was just outstanding from beetroot to zingy lemon to venison to lobster to um, sweet bread veal that literally melted in my mouth. Jerusalem artichokes. Oh my goodness me. It was genuinely a dream. I actually brought home the menu just so that I could have it as a little memento because obviously I've eaten every single thing, <laughs> every single morsel that was offered to me last night. I suppose it's 
all about the tiny details and that is the reason why Le Manoir have two Michelin stars and have retained them for 39 years and I feel so lucky that it is on our doorstep literally I think it took us 17 18 minutes to get there um, obviously we will not be going there <laughs> super frequently but we are going to get our cookery course booked as soon as possible I want to take my parents back there and I most certainly want to go back there in daylight there are so many different events that they host and and courses so you all know me I am so passionate about baking and cooking and with that literally just down the road how have I not done this before but I kind of feel like I have only spoken about the culinary and the dining experiences, but Le Manoir is actually a hotel. They have 32 rooms, I believe the lady was telling us last night, and of course, hotel suites. They have um, the most magnificent gardens from mushroom gardens, they've got orchards, they've got Japanese gardens. Trust me, the list goes on and on. And also there's such an element of education about it because you have got all of the cooking classes as well as the gardening classes. I feel like Josie and I, I'm, I feel like it might have to be, hopefully she's not gonna watch this vlog. <laughs> and darling, if you are, Fast forward, but wouldn't it be lovely if I um, did like a little birthday treat or maybe something very special at Christmas? Uh, we did a little cookery course and then went on to do the gardening course. I definitely could learn a thing or two from um, Le Manoir and most certainly Josie when it comes to gardening. But it has literally been the most mind-blowing experience. My taste buds will never be the same. And I just feel so lucky that Mark took me for our belated Valentine's date night. Extremely special. My goodness gracious me, what on earth is he going to do next year? <laughs> I think it might be my turn to treat him next year, but I just felt like I had to come on today and just tell you a little bit about last night and just explain how special it was. I tried to show you as much as I possibly could without being told off to pop my camera away from my husband, um, but it was so, so special and I feel extremely, extremely lucky. So I'm actually going to bring this vlog to an end. I truly hope you've enjoyed this one. It has been so busy. So we started off at the crack of dawn. I'd go as far as to say that actually my alarm went off before the crack of dawn. And we headed up to London for a very, very exciting event that just got us all ready for what is an extremely busy time with London Fashion Week. We then headed over to One Warwick for the fashion showcase, mooched around filmed some very very funny TikTok so if you don't follow me on TikTok and Instagram then I will leave the details in the description box down below and please please give me a follow because you'll see some very very funny um funny things on there then we headed to a scrumptious and seriously spontaneous ladies lunch at NAC that cookie holy smokes it was absolutely scrumptious. I cannot believe I went from eating warm cookie dough with ice cream and it was it cornflakes? No, frosties, frosties, to the most outstanding, phenomenal culinary experience of my life. <laughs> literally one end to the other end of the spectrum but really it was a small taste of absolute stardom i truly hope you guys have enjoyed this one as much as i have loved every single second of bringing you along with me it's been so special to be able to share it i was slightly worried that mark may not have wanted me to bring my camera but he actually said to me it's going to be so beautiful that i really think you should share it so so I really hope you guys have enjoyed it and the fact that hopefully I've done it justice. Anyway, I'm most certainly going to be getting an early night tonight. I am absolutely exhausted, but I cannot wait to see you on the next one. So have a wonderful evening and as always, sending you so much love.